Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you on how to upgrade a CC brand handguard. Uh, as you know that this is the original one. And just in case if you guys wondering why the barrel is so long on this one, uh, this is the 7.62 uh, cal caliber. It's because uh, here in Canada, um, you have to have a 18 inch, 18.6 inch barrel um, in order uh, for your rifle uh, to be uh, classified as non-restricted. Um, I'm not going to get into uh, uh, the legal detail about it. Uh, if you guys are really curious, for those of you that is uh, outside Canada, uh, feel free to look it up. But just wanna explain to you guys why this barrel is so long. Hence, that's the reason why I'm getting. Um, I got the um, uh, 13 inch um, handguard from HBI uh, Industries. So let's take a look at it. All right. So it comes with the manual, obviously, and some stickers. Okay, so this is the handguard. It's very well made, my first impression. And comes with some hardware for installation. Alrighty. And I think this is gonna look awesome, guys. Okay. Okay, let's get uh, started. Okay, so I read the manual earlier before I shot this video. So I have some ideas already on what to do. Um, so what I'm gonna do first, what we're gonna do is we're going to remove the, uh, the front side first. And you're going to use Allen key. And the size that I'm using is 532. So let's do that. Okay. So once that off, what we're gonna do right now, we're going to remove the four screws, uh, the T25 flat head screws. There are four of them. One, two, three, four on the other side. And Let's go ahead and do that. Next thing we want to do is when we want to slide this out and up. So it'll be like, I'm just going to show you from the sides here. Slide and up. All right, so we're going to put that on the side. Also the screws so we know which screws belong to which part. The next uh, step that we're gonna do, we're going to remove these three T25 screws. There is a three on each side. So I'm gonna start doing on this side first. And once it, once, um, you know, uh, you're, you remove all the T25 screws, you can just lift up the whole uh, part here, the whole part here, okay? And um, I'm going to keep the screws um, where they are right now because right on the bottom of the screws there is this um, blue washer. Um, you can see it there. You can see it. And you need this, uh, you need to, four of this blue washer to install um, with the new handguard. So I'm gonna uh, leave it the way it is. Actually, I'm gonna remove it right now. I need four of this, so. And two. Okay. And we're gonna do the same thing with the other side. Okay. 
Okay, there you go. And next thing what we're gonna do, we're going to remove these two T25 screws right on the bottom here. Don't, uh, don't worry about these this three, we're just going to remove these two. And to remove this uh, bottom panel, all you have to do is just have to slide forward. There you go. Again. So the next thing that we're going to do, we're going to uh, get this on hand guard. So this is the 13 inch one. So I know the shorter one uh, probably have a different steps. What we're going to do first, we're going to install this uh, Picatinny rail on the top. And uh, this is where you actually use to access the gas block adjustment uh, system. Um, but if you don't adjust anything, then you can put the Picatinny back on. So this is the Picatinny that comes with it. It's also made from aluminum. So it's gonna put it like that. And they don't recommend you to put a blue lock tire on this one, guys. Just because if you need to adjust the, um, the gas setting, um, then you know you know you won't have a problem uh, removing it. Okay, and once it's snug, we're going to use the torque uh, screwdriver. I'm using this uh, fat wrench. Um, it's pretty handy uh, to have around. All right. And we're gonna adjust it to a maximum of 13 inch per pound. Okay, so we're gonna do that. All right, that's about 13 inch there, I think. Okay, I don't have the digital one. I always have the digital one, but I don't. Okay. And we're gonna get the screw bit, perfect. And then we're gonna tighten this up. There you go. That's done. What are we gonna do? Here we're going to install the handguard. And to do that, just have to slide it in. Guess it's pretty obvious, right? So, okay. All right, it's looking better already. What do you guys think? All right, so, and we're gonna get the, the plate that comes with it. one and there's another one here this one with the, with the cutie okay so uh, this one when you install it they uh, they recommend you to use a blue loctite so um, I'm not gonna use blue loctite yet for now um, just in case if I uh, you know if I need to uh, do something here because I know I have more uh, upgrade coming from HPI. So, by the way, uh, make sure you hit that alert button, guys, so you won't miss my next video. All right. So, let's look here. And then you're gonna use the one of the blue one, the blue washer that we kept earlier. Okay. Just gonna leave it there. And by the way, if you wanna use the uh, the original uh, sc screw that um, from OEM, feel free to do so. Um, but SPI also give you this another screw um, for us to use. Okay, there you go. It says SPI USA. Down there, I don't know if you guys can see it. 
and we're gonna flip it to the other side and you're gonna do the same thing and it's up to you guys uh, so this is there's a QD mount here uh, so it's up to you guys uh, on which side you want to install it uh, I'm installing on this side so What do you think guys? Um, I think it looks much much better especially with my uh, long barrel I think this 13 inch sense guard definitely complement the um, um, the, uh, the gun itself oh uh, and also uh, don't forget that um, you're going to want to uh, torque this to uh, 45 uh, inch, uh, 45 pounds per square inch. So um, you know you don't want to forget to do that. Alrighty, um, that's it for Nick for now, guys. Uh, if you have any uh, questions, uh, feel free to leave your questions down in a comment. And uh, please do like, uh, share, and subscribe. Uh, it helps a lot with my channel, guys. And since I told you guys earlier that I will be doing more videos because I have more SPI uh, uh, parts coming in and I'm going to share with you guys on how to install uh, the, you know, those parts. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.